Hey, what's up everyone and welcome to another video. If you don't know me, I'm Danny, aka Danny Portraits on Instagram and usually I put out portrait photography work out there. And today I'm showing you another color grading tutorial and how I graded this image, which I already posted on Instagram. You probably saw it. I'm gonna show you my process and how I color graded this image. All right, let's dive right into Photoshop and see what's going on in this image. All right, this is the finished image. You probably already saw it on Instagram because I posted it. If not, go there, check it out, give it a like and come back. <laughs> I'm just kidding, you can do it at the end. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding guys. You can do whatever you want. All right, so this is the image and we're just starting without the color, of course. Just like that. This is how the image looked like out of camera after skin retouching. And yeah, the color I was going for is actually from this image from Alex, AKA Liquid Verve, if you don't know her. If you're familiar with the portrait photography work, you should probably already heard about her. If not, you probably lived under a rock and yeah, just check her out. If you never heard of her, you probably did. So um, yeah, these are the colors I wanted to implement in this image because they are really similar. How do I do that? First of all, the easiest way to extract the colors is to go here on color.adobe.com. This is in uh, German for whatever reason. So let me change that. Uh, English. Okay, let's go. Here you can go to image, select a file, and then you can just upload the image just like that. And then check on the color wheel what colors you have. You can either upload your um, colors or just go in and do it manually. I will do it manually really quick. This is the fastest way. So you can just drag around here as you already know probably. Inside of Photoshop just take your brush tool or hold down alt and then you can sample every color. Also outside of Photoshop. So I just drag over, take this color and the next one just uh, this is the fastest way I think. And now we got the colors. Cool. Now I'm gonna open up Photoshop again in full size. These are the colors which are in this image pretty much. So yeah, let's see how I would approach this. I'm just gonna close these groups here, coloring, etc. And then I will start with a selective color layer here. And I probably would play around with the greens. So just call it greens here. We already almost have the exact same greens let me check i'm just gonna take this square here and check my colors so i'm gonna dive in here check a green and we already have those greens here pretty much as you can see but i want to let them pop a little bit more so i'm gonna add some yellows here just play around with the sliders to see what we have here we are almost at the yellows here so this is not gonna affect too much so i'm just gonna Watch out, um, we're gonna turn it to the red side. Also adding some magentas here. And then I probably wanna play with the blues because we have some blues here in the window. So I'm gonna pull it, pull down the greens um, or pull down the magentas to add some greens here. And as you can see, we get the signs, adding some signs and adding some yellows and we got those teal looking colors just like here in the image like down here pretty much um, maybe we're here on this side so let's try and match that a little bit and we're actually already there just adding some signs a little bit more just like that and maybe take out some blacks to make it a little bit brighter there's also another way to do it but just for this tutorial i'm gonna show it like that cool so we already have those greens and those um, blues here so i'm gonna add another selective color layer and now i want to affect those yellows a little bit more or her top also so let's just play with her top here so i'm gonna grab my quick selection tool here just go over roughly so you can do it precisely but i just do it roughly here for this example and then I'm gonna feather it out a little bit and we have a lot of reds in here probably let's check the colors and we're around here already so we have some reds just make them pop by adding some reds here as you can see 
adding some magentas of course and some yellows and we already get there adding some magentas a little bit more go down with the reds and this is a lot more colorful maybe we can play with the blacks here a little bit just adding some blacks maybe a little bit more red and then you can also add a curve tool here or a curve adjustment layer just pull down the midtones a little bit make it more red make it a little bit darker adding some contrast before and after pretty cool we're almost there or we're pretty much at this red level here as you can see um yeah the next thing i'm gonna do is still adjusting those greens a little bit so what i would do is before i even color grade the top here i would play around with the greens again see what we can do and adding some yellows here and some reds and then i would extract her from the selection so i'm just gonna select her here and then i'm gonna exclude her from the mask and this is not gonna be a super clean mask so don't worry guys usually i work a lot cleaner but i just want to show you the principles here and i don't have my tablet connected so i'm gonna do it with the mouse real quick just brush over like that a little bit okay and then we play with the yellows because we have yellows in the grass so if i pull this down to the left side we're introducing some reds so it's gonna turn kind of orange yeah that's what i expected so let's see if we can match that a little bit more make it more colorful adding some yellows here and maybe a little bit of magenta because we don't have full greens we have some yellowish greens here going on so let's check again yeah we're pretty much still there can even add some more yellows if you want to intensify that one you can just copy that and you can see we have a lot more colorful yellows in here also here in the back just like that and as I said this is not a clean mask so just clean it up a little bit because I just want to show you how you can get your colors you want in your images do the same here with both masks this is pretty much um, a lot more colorful than before. Let me check colors before and after so far. Pretty good looking. Let me see how my image even looked like. Yeah, mine is a lot more colorful, of course. Um, also adding some, introducing some signs here. So what we can do to make it more sign here is to play with the signs because they are already signs. So let's... Just pull up the signs, pull down the magentas here and push some yellows in. And as you can see, we got those teals in her leather jacket. And these are pretty much the, the colors we were going for, like in this image. I think we just hit them. And this is actually how I would color grade this image. As you can see, it's pretty easy. I usually use a lot of selective color layers and some curves sometimes. Let's see, four different selective color layers. We already get a pretty decent look here. Pretty colorful, pretty um, vibrant. This one is only for the top, so there are many other ways to do it, but this is the easiest way. And yeah, I think we achieved this look. Let's see on Adobe how it looks like. If we implement this image, oops, I actually, uh, let me save this one. I had 1350 times 1080, it's the Instagram canvas. And then let me upload it here, replace image, test. And we are pretty much in the same color range as the other image. Maybe we should push those magentas a little bit back from the top, but yeah. We got too much magentas here, so I should push this a little bit down, just like that. And now we're back here. All right. And yeah, we got a lot more. Um, we got the signs in here because we got a lot more signs than this little part. Because we got dominant signs over here and over here. But this looks pretty good to me because we have some... Oh, because we got those tried colors like that. 
And here's just a quick reminder, if you want to see my whole editing workflow, just check out my tutorial on my website. I just updated it and I'm going to release the version 2 really soon. And everyone who gets the version 1 also gets the version 2 for free as an update. So yeah, this was actually it. Um, a pretty quick tutorial here or a guide, whatever. I hope this was informative for you. And if you have any further questions, just let me know. See you in the next one.